today it's apparently cold enough that I can get this bucket of hot water. Throw it up in the air. It'll turn instantly into snow. Well, that failed. That science fail, it doesn't surprise me. Because if you knew me from high school and college and you knew my report cards, well, then you knew I wasn't any good at science. Look, this is me in my senior year of high school in my actual science class. Do I look like I know anything about science? Eh, forget about science. Let's talk about another thing I don't know too much about. And that's boats. I promise this is the last you're going to see this captain hat on today's detour. So hoist up the John B. Hoist up the John B. See how the main sail, see how the main sail. Is. Go for the captain ashore. Let me go home. Let me go home. Want to go home. Let me go home. We're here in Boston, Massachusetts, the city of champions for the 2019 Progressive New England Boat Show. And like I said earlier, I don't know too much about boats. I do know that I've been on one. I know how to water ski. I like to party on boats. I know they go on water. And that's pretty much it for my knowledge of the vessels behind me. Oh, and I also know I ain't buying one today. Although I'm pretty sure I can afford either one of those boats. So I'm here today at the New England Boat Show, brought to you by Progressive, the Progressive New England Boat Show, the Boston Boat Show, if you want to call it. It's here from today, the, what, the 9th of February until the 17th, which is next Sunday. So you have a whole week to come out and check out what's going on here in the world of boats and life jackets and sea doos and jet skis and all that kind of stuff. And these people are photobombing. Looks like I found the bar. Although I think I like this bar a little bit better. Boat drinks. Boys in the band ordered boat drinks. There ain't no party like a boat show party because a boat show party won't stop. This is definitely more of a drinking event than people walking around buying boats. I mean, what do you expect? It's like 32 degrees today in Boston. Not a good day to be outside. Cheers. Wow, I haven't even been here 10 minutes yet, and so far this is my favorite boat of the day. I mean, check that thing out, right? I don't know if that other boat was too big for you. Maybe this is more your size. This thing looks like it can go pretty fast. I just came across a local Boston celebrity. Hey, it's us, Carlson. And Mackenzie. How many questions can we ask before getting hung up on? I'll find out this morning during the 715 Senseless Survey on 100.7 WZLA. Boston's Classic Rock. So, hoist up the John B. sail. Is that a big inflatable whale? Eh, my guess was correct. It is a big old inflatable whale. But I don't think they nailed it on the location in the boat show. This whale should be next to the Boston Whalers. And not over here, next to the Carolina Skiff. I'm not hating on you, Carolina. I did spend 10 years in your state. Well, these boats are pretty nice. There ain't no finer than a skiff from Carolina. The Progressive New England Boat Show, this, it's pretty packed out here. A lot of people. The kids these days might say it's lit, which makes it appropriate that this fireboat is right here on the floor of the Boston Convention Center and that fireboat is located right over here next to this boat which I think would be a sweet updated version of the Orca from Jaws if they were to ever to remake that movie which I'm totally against. Speaking of Jaws, that boat right behind me that could be Chief Brody's boat. Wait so you're telling me that Bentley makes party boats? If they're as good as a car I gotta look at the inside. In this Bentley, it's got plenty of room for you and your friends. You guys have heard about the Catalina wine mixer. This is how they ferment their wine. Your brother wants a shot at the Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm walking tall. My very first car was a Chevy Malibu, but I wish I had this instead. For $40,000 right off the floor. You can go home with this Malibu. I'm really digging this color. $149,000. This Malibu can go home with you today. 
It's even got the party lights on the side. These knee boards are fat. I have a light case of scoliosis that I will blame to my time on knee boards back in the 80s on Squam Lake and Lake Winnipesaukee and Newfound Lake, Northwood Lake. Well, if you got 95 or $100,000 just sitting around, you can go home today with one of these Mastercrafts. Four wins, the official boat of the Boston Red Sox. I always loved coming to the Boston Boat Show with my father back in the early 80s. I always grab those little free pamphlets that you can take home and look at the boats that you want to buy. And my father and I used to sit there at the dining room table every time we leave the boat show and talk about which boat we're going to buy. And, well, Dad never bought a boat. I mean, I shouldn't say that. My father did have a boat when I was a very, very young kid. But nothing like this. I don't know if I've ever seen a party boat like this. You know, a pontoon. Is it a pontoon? It's a party. I'm calling it a party boat with bar stools, an actual bar right there, that is fat. This, I, I think I'm gonna change up, this will be the boat that I would buy if I was to buy a boat out there. How much is it? 37 grand. Four Winds is the boat company right behind me, and Four Winds is one of those companies that I remember getting those brochures from back in the late 80s with my father at the boat shows. Uh, Four Winds and Glaston, Glastron, Glaston. Those are the two companies I like the best. We used to bring the brochures back to my house and uh, pretend like we we're gonna buy a boat. And again, uh, Dad never, never bought that boat. But I still get those those really good feelings when I come out here to the boat show and. Remember those good times. The motor is taller than me. They're fresh out of Bud Light, but good news, they got the Narragansett, the official beer of Quint from Jaws. See, I wouldn't lie about that. It's the official beer of Quint from Jaws. And speaking of sharks, let's go check out some shark fishing boats. I think it's a McCall. Brought to you by Mako. Although, I'm not sure if this Tahoe right here has enough room to catch a 15-foot great white shark. The head the tail. The whole damn thing. Okay, I think I know what's going on. Tahoe is not a Mako boat. Tahoe is a, well, it's a different company altogether. And it is a fine looking boat. This, on the other hand, is shark ready. Even got Mako on the side, so this is definitely a vessel to catch a shark with. You can maybe catch a sand shark with that. <laughs> or even maybe find Nemo. These things look a lot more sophisticated than I did when I was riding them around Lake Winnipesaukee back in the late 1980s. It's been a while since I've been on a, what is this, a sea -Doo? See, I don't even know if a sea is a thing or it's a company. This is Yamaha. Do they make sea or is sea a, a company all its own? Okay, now here is a, an official sea -Doo I just came across. Obviously not the same thing as a Yamaha. Was that a jet ski earlier? Or again is a jet ski and a whole nother company altogether. This glass drawn looks like it's straight out of Hazard County. Check this thing out, the Sun Odyssey 440. I would love to take this out on the seven seas. Oh heck, I'd like to take it out on maybe even one sea. I would take it down from Boston to Florida, down to Key West, and dock it there for a few months, because I live on Duval Street.
I'm about to give you a total detour spoiler. I'm taking this channel down to Key West, Florida here in the next month or two. Going on a cruise out of Miami and Key West is one of those stops, baby. I've been to Key West, Florida many times before. In fact, the last time was in 2001 when the Patriots beat the Rams in the Super Bowl. But I've never been to Key West, Florida on a cruise ship. Goats and boats. This car is straight out of the Beach Buds video circa 1962. If they had music videos back in 1962. And yes, I know they had videotape back in 1962. You can check it out on YouTube. Those cars are in the videos. Round, round, get around, I get around. Yeah. Whoa, now these are beautiful boats. Check these out. Oh yeah. The more vintage, the better for me. Yeah, that roster, the classic day boat. With the 250. That is sweet. This would be the boat I would buy. Size doesn't matter. If you look good, you feel good. These edge waters aren't too shabby either. You could definitely have a party inside that black fin. Check out the amount of Bud Light bottles that are there in the cup holders. <laughs> it's crazy that the New England Boat Show is brought to you by Progressive Auto Insurance, house insurance, boat insurance, but yet they have Geico insurance out here as well. The Zodiac Killer from the 1960s and 70s has never been found, never been caught. But you can catch this boat out here, the Zodiac, at the New England Boat Show. Both of these boats, extra beautiful. Totally digging the colors. If you're buying a boat out here at the boat show, chances are you want to do some fishing. Got an ample supply of fishing rods out here. It's crazy. All I could see was fishing poles sticking out the back. I couldn't even notice a truck with a camouflage. Chances are, if you have a boat, you're out there fishing. You can buy your lures out here at the New England Boat Show. And we got some different fancy lures as well. You can buy bags and purses, male and female. I'm always in the market for a leather koozie, a new wallet, or a fanny pack. Except these leather wallets are not like a real wallet. You can fit like your license, maybe a bank card and some money. Maybe if you're just like getting off a cruise ship and going to a port for a couple hours, that's something perfect instead of bringing your whole wallet, right? I think I finally found the boat out here that I can afford to buy. And I'm not talking about that one. That's definitely my size. I'm only 5'8". Ooh, that's a big old rocking chair. These boat shows are amazing just to come walk around and kind of see stuff that you would never even notice in everyday life unless you have a boat. And all these little sonar devices. Yeah, all this stuff's pretty crazy. All these fish finders and GPS devices. Radios. I'm pretty sure this is a satellite dish. If 
you don't want to buy a brand new boat, you can always buy a pre-owned. You can buy little flip-flops, little mittens, little socks. You can buy a hat, whatever you want it printed on it. And if your name happens to be Mike, well, they got your hat already right now. Or if you're just ship-faced and you think your name is Mike, you can buy this hat too. So on like solar panels out here for your boat too, so you can run all your equipment off of solar instead of battery if you wish. Or if you want to keep it old school with batteries, they got you covered out here too. See this boat right here? This would be perfect for me because I usually travel alone or maybe with one or two friends. Mostly alone. And it's got like 30 koozies. Things that cannot afford for $71,000, Alex. I mean, I, I could actually buy the boat, but, uh, I mean, honestly, I live in New England. It's winter half of the year, six months of winter. I don't live anywhere near the ocean. I'm about 12 miles outside of the ocean, but what the heck am I going to do with a boat? Well, I'm digging this boat for 96 grand. Look at, even put an umbrella on it. Down there? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the superhero known as Deadpool? I really like the colors on this Jupiter Lee Loki. Maybe it's because of the name is very Hawaiian sounding. And it comes with dual Yamaha engines. 300 a piece, is that 600? But if you're looking for a little bit more horsepower, now this Jupiter over here has got three engines. Yeah, these formulas over here. Looks like something out of a Puff Daddy video. Definitely Miami Vice though. And besides boats, you can buy Girl Scout cookies out here too. My parents live on a canal in Florida on the west coast. It's a few miles worth of canal. They can't really go too fast in a boat. All they have is kayaks right now, but something this size would be perfect, right? Maybe this one right here? Fit a family of six or so? Or even just two people and a bunch of coolers. Such a beautiful color on this sailfish. I'm a little bit of color blonde. Is that gray or is that uh, purple? I love this color too. If this thing was for sale today, that's about the only thing I could afford to buy. I'm on a boat, yeah. There's a lot more than power boats and yachts out here at the New England Boat Show. For instance, look at this beautiful sailboat. Check out the size of that ship wheel on that boat. Either these life jackets smell like pot or someone just lit up a big old blunt. But either way, these things over here will save your life if you can ever get capsized or a bandit left out in the middle of the ocean. Now, this is pretty interesting. This sailboat made a canvas. Yeah, he's more pirate than anything. Look at that thing, huh? It's all made of canvas. We all know there's no shingles on boats, but yet you can still buy some shingles out here at the New England Boat Show. I was just about to make a comment on why you would buy a mattress at a boat show. Then I realized, looking at some of these boats, there's you know, several bedrooms on some of these boats, so therefore you would need a mattress for your bedroom. Out here at the boat show, they got mattresses of all different sizes and shapes. If you didn't want to buy one of those bed mattresses, you could always buy yourself a beanbag chair. If your boat has enough room for an air chair or a hammock, well, you have more money than I do. I'm hanging at my parents' house in Southwest Florida. I usually take the kayak out. This is a different spin on that kayak. It's kind of standing up, but it's the same thing. It's kind of like a boat elliptical. A, a boatical. Wow, look at these crisscrafts. This is vintage. I'm thinking if I could buy any boat out here. I mean, I've seen all those huge boats, but I, I'm liking this. I'm, I'm digging this 1950s looking wood. Wax on, wax off, like Mr. Miyagi. Karate Kid 
they spray the liquid. Now, I'm letting it soak there because that liquid cleans. No, no magic. My, Dave, my name is not David Blake, okay? But it shines platinum, gold, silver, stainless steel, and chrome. It shines up those things. And it also shines your diamond, your ruby, your pearl, your opal, your emerald, your cubic zirconium, eyeglasses, sunglasses, TV screens, computer screens, cell phones, bathroom mirrors, windshields of your car, ski masks, scuba goggles, glass countertops, anything you want to shine. If you put it on your ceiling fans, you know the dust that settles? It can't stick on the ceiling fans for like three months. Well, I know that dust. Okay. <laughs> If you're buying polarized sunglasses, why not make them Maui Gyms? This video is not brought to you by Maui Gyms. If you want to feel really nautical without even being on your boat, perhaps you live in the New England area and it's February like it is right now, you can have these maps in your house making you feel all nautical when the weather is not as beautiful as you want it to be. That is a beautiful stingray. Plenty of room for you and your friends. I know the band Sticks has nothing to do with boats. Well, except for that. Except right now I'm thinking of. I got to Mr. Raballo, Domo Domo. Domo Domo. <laughs> if you want to rob a bank, the Boston Boat Show is the place to come. I'm not going to lie. If there was a shark on that fleece, I would have bought it. <laughs> Those ponies aren't doing it. Oh, for sure, I am walking out of here today with one of these bamboo pillows. I always say it every time, it's the softest pillow on the market. Better than the my pillows. You seen the movie. I don't have a boat, but I love to have that chair. In my, just have that chair in my apartment, right? King of the house. Right with this bar next to it. Look how many cup holders that thing's got. What is this? Uh -huh. Oh, that guy's like folding the bike up. It's a folding bike. Oh. See, I'm so careful about letting anything drop. Chances are, if you're buying a boat, you're going to need something to pull that boat with. Well, why don't you just buy yourself a GMC Yukon here at the New England Boat Show. Brought to you by Progressive Insurance. I mean, after all, you have to insure your boat and your car. Why not make it Progressive? Progressive bringing the hits from the 80s. Talk about a little bit of Millie Vanilli. Now, I don't know why they don't have it activated right now, but normally you can get that Progressive yacht over there and try to dock it in this Progressive pool up against those docks. Over here they got the progressive virtual boat race. Like a VR experience like you're driving a boat. Let's see how these people do. Just follow the arrows. Keep within the navigational buoys. Don't hit the wall. These kids are great. I'm not gonna read it, but if you happen to be out here today for this boat show and I caught you on video, here's the disclaimer. Your name, likeness, and all that kind of good stuff is, uh, well, I could use it. Look at the Boston skyline tonight. Conveniently, they got the Sam Adams Pub right here on the top level of the Boston Expo Center. So I'm gonna step up and get myself a burger and a beer. Got myself a cheeseburger and a cold Bud Light. That's a cool looking bar. I wish it was open. That's pretty much it for today for the New England Boat Show 2019. As I stated at the beginning of this video, the Progressive New England Boat Show is in town until next Sunday the 17th. Uh, Monday through Friday, it's 1 p.m. until 9 p.m. Next Saturday, it's 10 a.m. until 8.30 p.m. or 8 p.m. And then on Sunday, it's 10 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. So if you didn't get out to the boat show this weekend, make sure you check it out sometime next week. In fact, it's a perfect Valentine's Day, right? And it's $16 at the door, so it's a cheap date. $32, bucks, $6 beers.
You guys know what to do next. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I always answer all the comments. Check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram, at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. On Instagram, I post pictures of what I'm doing currently on a detour, and you're going to see where I was two or three days before I put that video up on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to Detours. And while you're clicking away on that subscribe button, make sure you click on the little bell icon. It's a small bell. It'll give you instant notification every single time I upload a brand new detour. You can be the first one to see it. That was a bullseye. Look. And as always, I'll catch you on the next detour. It's easy to grin when your ship comes in and you've got the stock market beat. But the man worthwhile is the man who can smile when his shorts are too tight in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you let me take